Seven years ago, an American couple moved to Florence, and they realized that there was no English language newspaper. Something like this would be useful for students as well as for the many expats who live here in Florence. So they decided to do something about it. Over 150 issues later, we're still here, a group of Italians and expats who speak English and produce this newspaper. Let's go meet the team. Giovanni and Marco are the directors of the newspaper. Let's find out more about how this started for them. It happened by chance, but then it became a real passion. It's, uh, it's, we love to publish uh, the Florentine and uh, to be editor of uh, the Florentine Press Group. It's a, it's a terrific business and it's, uh, it's really a, a way to know another world. What can I say more? Read us, write us, because the richness, the strength of our newspaper are the people uh, who send their contribution to us. And don't worry, I don't write a word for the newspaper. The content of this paper focuses on Florence, Tuscany and Italy, with news, events listings, magazine-type features on the arts, food and more, and also classifieds. TF also reflects the interests of readers throughout Italy and of Italy lovers across the world. The paper prides itself in using a range of expert columnists aged 16 to 70 whose experiences living in Florence help bridge the cultural gap for all of us. The layout and design of the paper has changed a number of times in five years, but style is always at the heart of what we do. Leo Cardini is our graphic and art designer. He decides what goes where and how it should look. Other than producing the newspaper, the Florentine also has a number of important collaborations, including LDM News, which is why I'm sure you're going to recognize our managing editor. Hi guys, my name is Brenda. I am the managing editor of the Florentine, and I'm also a familiar face on the videos on LDM News. I hope you've liked our offices so far. This is where we brainstorm ideas for articles in TF, as well as videos for LDM News. So next time you see us filming around town, make sure you stop and say hi. You have no excuse. Leo's Artful Paper is distributed by Bike Courier around Florence in 10,000 copies every other Thursday. You can find it at LDM and at many pickup points around town. Giacomo is responsible for distribution, not only of the paper, but also of the books produced by the Florentine Press. He's also our head of advertising. I'm Alexandra, and other than presenting this video, I'm the social media manager here at The Florentine. That essentially means that The Florentine is present online and on various social networks, especially Facebook. So I encourage all of you to become fans on Facebook because what makes this newspaper is the contributions from our readers. So tell us what bothers you, tell us what you love about Florence, and your voice will come out in this newspaper. The Florentine has high standards and is well respected as a news source in the city. Recently, the mayor of Florence, Matteo Renzi, asked us to collect questions for him that he answers in his regular column in our paper, an honor that no other newspaper in Florence can boast. The Florentine truly is a bridge between communities and at the heart of life in Florence.